Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning students How are you today? Alhamdulillah We must be grateful because today we are given hope so that we can carry out learning in the health state and okay it's great to see you again looks like two guys are in hex mode and so before we start learning it's a good idea to pray first please for the class led to lead the prayer amin Okay, uh, are you ready to listen today? Okay, students, uh, recent we have been hit by floods, especially in the lowlands. Does anyone know what caused the flood to come? Yes, that's right, from the causes of this natural disaster, we can draw the conclusion that what are we going to learn about? Can anyone answer? Yes, that's right, students. Okay, so it is important for our students to learn about this natural phenomenon. Does anyone know why it is important for us? to study this natural phenomenon? Yes, it is true students. So, it is beneficial for us to learn about natural phenomena so that we can find out about natural phenomena that will occur so that uh, we can be prepared before the disaster strikes. Okay, our learning objectives so that you are expected to be able to identify similarities and difference in social function, uh, structure text, and linguistic element of explanation text, and identify parts of the structure of perfect text. Identify parts of the structure of perfect text, understanding the structure of explanation text in giving and asking for information related to natural or social phenomena covered in the other subject in class 11. Understanding the linguistic element of explanation text in giving and asking for information related to natural or social phenomena conferred in other subjects in class 11 making short and simple text about natural phenomena making text about short and simple social phenomena and is expected to be able to display and present the next two friends who come to read okay so far any correction okay good students as we mentioned a little about our lesson today, so today we will learn about the text explanation of natural and social phenomena. Okay, before we start, I will tell you about core competence, basic competence, indicator, and KKM. Okay, uh, later I will announce the division of groups related to the text uh, that you will later create. Since there are uh, 25 uh, you in total, there will be five uh, groups with five members each. So before we start lesson, what should we ask? Well, we start this lesson. Okay, please write the textbook first about the structure of explanation text in the giving and asking for information related to natural or social phenomena. Next, I will explain the material in outline so that you understand in better videos and PPT. After reading, please refer to my explanation and prepare stationery to note the important points of the explanation. I will also read your activity. 
Alright students, after you watch and listen to my explanation, I have a question. Does anyone know what a natural or social phenomena is? Yes, very good answer. Give applause for your students. Okay, I will test your knowledge. Does anyone want to mention how the structure of an explanation text in giving and asking information related to natural or social phenomena? Okay, nice answer. So, the structure of an explanation text includes phenomena, symptom identities, and a series of explanation. So, as for the topic of this explanation text, it is about non-human objects such as water, evaporation, rain with exposure that foster the behavior contains in KI. Okay, after we watch the video on the explanation text nature or social phenomena, it could be concluded that the explanation that was a text that contained how or why something happens. Generally, this type of the text describes uh, the process of something happening. For example, such a natural or social phenomenon, there is an explanation for how these symptoms occur before a natural disaster occurred. Laila, please repeat my explanation earlier regarding the meaning of the explanation text of natural or social phenomena. When I explain, you must focus. Okay, listen carefully. Students, so the point is that natural or social phenomena are a sex before the disaster. Okay, if anyone doesn't understand, you can ask. I will explain which part you don't understand. Okay, next, after we learn about the meaning of the explanation text of natural or social phenomena, is there anything to add? Well, then I will show a lab PPT structure explanation text, okay? Okay, students, after I explain earlier and finish the practice with questions and answers, now our activity is group discussion. According to the group division that I told you earlier, please join your respective groups. Okay, the activity in the lesson this time is that you will make an explanation text uh, of natural or social phenomena. I will give each group the title of a natural disaster. Do the text with what you have got and understand from my explanation. Do it carefully. I don't someone to only write binam in the group. The processing time is 10 minutes. Okay, have you understood the step? Good. This lesson are small project aims to make you understand my explanation more quickly because it is practice. Okay, from now on, work on it. If you need internet, please open it on your laptop or mobile. And a big you to do it climbing without any fuss, okay? Okay, students, because the discussion time is up, so have all the groups finished? Okay, if so, please come to the front of each group representative to present the result of the discussion. Please, group one, come forward. Okay, there were many symptoms before the flood disaster occurred. The question 
For group one, please explain one symptom that occurred. Well, that's pretty good answer. Any other groups will want to add to your groups one answer? Okay, good. Your friends already mentioned about the natural phenomena that occurred before the flood. So now if this natural phenomena arises, what should we do? Very good answer, students. And so those are natural symptoms that arise during floods and how we can deal this symptom before a disaster occurs. For other symptoms such as those that occur in our environment, usually there are flying animals perching on the legs and that indicates the river water well overflow. Yeah, but from the explanation and assessment that you gave earlier, are there any correction? It is great that your students are able to achieve our learning goals today. Your activities and the result of your work have been excellent. Is it okay if someone wants to help me conclude today? Okay, to achieve today's lesson, I ask to open the books on Apex 15 to work on multiculturalist correction and insight. Collects at the next meeting. Any question? Yes, Arif. Yes, that's right. Uh, lighting when in rains is a natural phenomena. Lighting occurs when negative charges in the clouds and positive charges on the earth surface are in the close proximity. How, oh, Sarif? You understand? Okay, before I close the lesson, please who wants to mention about point the lesson we learned today. Okay, to achieve today's lesson, I ask to open books on page uh, 15 to work on multi-level trees, question and exercise. Collect in the next meeting, okay? Okay, our learning material for today has been complete and in the next meeting, we will study the text of the report. So please learn about everything related to the material that we will study in the next meeting. Alright students, please the lesson for today. Maybe the class leader can dream of prior. Okay, keep the enthusiasm for the learning. Thank you for all, through all the discussion group for a very good job. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you. Thank you. Jangan lupa like, comment, and subscribe. See you.